was talking to this pastor, and this pastor was like, y'all young people's finding out the secret. And I asked him, what secret is he talking about? He said, yes, America is Egypt. He was like, that's what the Seminole War was about, the Louisiana Purchase was about. And he was like, look up this map, it's called Tamari. Or, and he said, y'all is Tamari Kings. So I went to look up at the map, right? And I was amazed he was right. He was like, that's y'all true nationality. And he was like, when the Seminole War broke out, that's when they won and they took over America and started calling them Americans and they spelt it different. And the Bible is based upon y'all. All pastors know this, Freemasonry know this, everybody know this. Pyramid on the Nile in Northeast Africa doesn't have stair steps going up it. It doesn't have temples on top of its summits. They could not go and break through the boat on the temples atop those great pyramids. There are none there. And that was the clue that Egypt was writing about the Americans. And the deeper I got into the records, the clearer it got. They started actually saying, and because I'm in love that land so much, he said it's his beloved land, and that word was Mary, the beloved, Mary, M-E-R-I, Mary. And the land, of course, as before, is Ta, the beloved land, Ta Mary. And they kept that name and just put the Ta on the end of it, so Ta Mary became a Mary Ta, we simply say, a Mary Ka. We kept the name that Egypt gave to the Americans. So that was the big mystery behind that $10 million map that Martin Waltzmuller made and then put the name America on it in 1507. And then those who knew and those who were trying to hide things said, wait a minute, you can't put that name on here. And the next time he reprinted that map, it was off, it was gone. Because that's the name that Egypt had given the land. Now you know your nationality. The entire landscape of America was all ancient Egypt, all right? So let's get into defining the context of Egypt. There are two ways that we can define Egypt, okay? First of all, we can define it simply as Mithraim, which is the son of Ham. Now, the word Egypt itself is Greek. Now, of course, we speak a bastardized language as the words are flowing out of my pie hole, we don't really understand the true contextual meaning behind, or the difference behind the contrast of the word Mitzrayim and Egypt. First of all, let's just get down to the foundational definition of Mitzrayim was not just the son of Ham, okay? Mitzrayim actually has dual meaning. Mitzra and Ayim actually have two different meanings. Now, when we're looking at this in a biblical context, other than Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim, other than being the son of Ham, is supposedly the name representative of the land. Yo, somebody's been lying, but we're about to get to the bottom of it. America was first settled by the Israelites. Indians who came out from Egypt, the views of the Hebrews by Ethan Smith. America was discovered by Columbus, 1492. Watch this. Discover, to divulge, reveal, disclose, expose, lay open to view or betray someone's secrets. What's the secrets? After much conversation, Salinas said to Midas, that Europe, Asia, and Africa were but islands surrounded on all sides by the sea, but that there was a continent situated beyond these, which was of immense dimensions, even without limits. 16.43 million square miles to be exact. It was inhabited by men and animals. The land was good and there were mines of gold, silver and etc much gold florida but let's go back real quick all right they said america was first settled by the israelites indians who came out from egypt then it goes on to say 
all right the egyptians were an ethiopian people all right this is verrazano's voyage along the atlantic coast of north america they are of dark color not much unlike the ethiopians it's all coming together right indians who came out from egypt it is a fact that at memphis egypt in the pyramids under the guidance of the kings the mystic rites of masonry were worked many thousands of years ago but at that time egypt and the continent of america were one and the same all right so we see that it was settled by israelites indians who came out from egypt and that the egyptians were the ethiopians and then we've seen verrazano say that the people he saw were similar to the ethiopians when following the course of the constellations those immovably and perpetually fastened on America are reached. It will appear that while all that is sublime in the historic past centers upon Egypt, all that is sublime in the prehistoric past centers upon America, Atlantis. And as the curtain which has hitherto concealed the prehistoric connection between the peoples of Egypt and of America is lifted, it will be seen that the people of the eagle on the now being descended from the original people of the eagle on this continent, the twain are one, and that prehistoric America was the original Egypt. So America is Egypt. Well, that must mean 